500,000 Americans are diagnosed with Lyme disease every year. That is why it is so important to protect yourself and your family from ticks. Ticks carry Lyme disease and there are ways to prevent tick bites. One of these tips will reduce your risk of a tick bite by over 70 times. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you five ways to protect yourself from tick bites and Lyme disease. So let's get right into it. Tip number one, know where the ticks live and avoid those areas whenever possible. Ticks like brush, they're going to be in the bushes, in the tall grass, and if you can avoid those areas, you will reduce your risk of having a tick bite. But obviously, if you are a hunter, if you like to forage, if you spend a lot of time in the woods, especially not on trails, it's kind of unavoidable. You're going to walk through this type of environment. So let's move on to the other things that you can do to prevent ticks. And that starts with what you wear. So you wanna wear long pants and long socks. Long socks? <laughs> Actually, maybe long socks. That's probably not a bad tip. You want to wear long pants and long sleeve shirts. This will prevent the ticks from crawling directly on your skin. Also, whenever possible, tuck your pants into your socks. I know it's a look, but it will help. And next is the biggest tip that I have for preventing ticks, and that is this magical little thing called permethrin. Permethrin will not only protect you from ticks, it will also protect you from mosquitoes. It's completely odorless when it dries, and it lasts for about six weeks or six washes, whichever comes first. A study done by the University of Rhode Island in 2011 showed a decrease in likelihood of a tick bite by 73.6 times just by treating your shoes and your socks with permethrin. I'm going to show you how to apply this stuff. It's very simple. You want to fully saturate every piece of fabric with at least three ounces. So that means this one bottle is 12 fluid ounces. This treats four garments. What you're going to do is apply it in a sweeping motion. You wanna give it a little shake first. You wanna be in a well-ventilated area. That's really important. You don't wanna breathe in the fumes. So give it a shake. And then in just a sweeping motion, you'll coat the fabric completely. And again, you want to use about three ounces per garment, even the socks, even the neck gaiter. It's about the number of molecules that are on the fabric that's important. So make sure that you fully treat each garment with three ounces. You'll need to reapply permethrin throughout the season. For me, I'm applying permethrin all spring, all summer into the fall because the ticks where I'm at in Pennsylvania are just relentless. Next tip is to check for ticks often. So every time you're taking a shower, you should be checking for ticks. You should do tick checks with your partner, especially in areas like your back or your armpits or even your scalp, like these hard to see areas, you can easily overlook a tick. So you don't only want to do the visual inspection, you also want to do a feeling like a touch inspection. Get into the habit of frequently checking for ticks during these peak months, like springtime and summertime especially, or whenever you're spending time outdoors. So for me, as a hunter in the fall, I spend a lot of time outside in the type of area where ticks love to be. I'm in thick brush, I'm in thick cover. So tick checks are mandatory. You wanna take a shower when you come in from your hunting adventure, your hiking adventure, whatever, and wash your clothing. Next tip, you're in the unfortunate situation where you have a tick that has bit into you. Side note, if you have a tick just crawling on your pants, that's no big deal. That's not how you will contract Lyme disease. You will only get the disease if the tick is infected with it and they bite you. That's why frequent tick checks are so important because if you catch it within that 24 hour window, you significantly decrease your chances of getting Lyme disease even if you have a bite. So how do we properly remove a tick? You can use a pair of tweezers or I have this awesome little tick removing tool that really gets down at the head, like right where they bite the skin, because ultimately you want to remove everything. If you grab the tick at the butt, the head will detach and that's not ideal. So take your time, use the tweezers, get all the way down so that you're able to remove the entire tick. 
And final tip, I should have threw this one in earlier, but wear DEET or Picaridin on your skin. It's a topical treatment that you can use in order to prevent ticks and other insects. Always wash off after you return from your adventure, but it's another great thing to have in your toolbox to help prevent ticks. And that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you have questions on permethrin or other tick prevention methods, leave them in the comments below and I'll see you guys in the next one.